Hi, uh, we're in Farndale today, in the Daffodil Walk. I'm here with my dad. Say hello, dad. Oh, yeah. And we're going to do the Daffodil Walk up to Low Mill, and we're starting here in church houses. So the world famous Farndale Daffodil Walk is in the, right in the middle of the North Yorkshire Moors National Park, north of Helmsley and Pickering, and uh, probably just about 10 miles from, from Helmsley. Uh, the walk itself is three and a half miles uh, north to south and then back again, so a mile and three quarters between church houses and and uh, low mill. Never let it be said a Yorkshireman doesn't know how to make a few quid. Two pound park and all dough, which is 50p less than at low mill, just a little bit south. This is how uh, Ten Sing and Hillary must have felt as they oh. set out for Everest, me and my dad. And this lane, any other time other than the, the, the peak daffodil season, uh, this is where you can park free of charge as long as you want. It gets a bit wider as you go down. And uh, here's the start of the of a beautiful walk. Now, the National Park Authority have started to brand this as the Daff Path. I don't know if they have realised it doesn't actually rhyme. But, um, well, well, no, that's the River Dove. It flows, um, it, it comes out west of Elm and down into Church Houses, then continues to flow uh, south down into Low Mill. And uh, what a beautiful aspect that is now i should say i would say it's virtually impossible to get lost you don't need any compasses or maps here the path is obvious throughout it's it's quite easy going as well when dad and i were walking uh, south uh, well and then back up north we saw push chairs wheelchairs it really isn't a, a difficult walk but very pleasant we had a great day as you can see and there we are admiring it's not at all contrived that is it as i said very easy beautiful countryside and busy i mean we were there i think it was the peak daffodil daffodil weekend loads of people around and uh, the uh, the sun coming through there a mixture of daffodils and wild garlic makes the whole aspect very enjoyable indeed now have a look at the river can, can you see how it's almost like rusty now this area was really big for uh, iron stone mining back in the day the river's never recovered so we've stopped for lunch and we're having a pork pie and for the detractors who uh, accuse me of favoring a particular pork pie over all others have a guess which one we're having. Kendall's and uh, yeah, hello everyone at Kendall's. I have been accused of, of, of favouring them, uh, and, but my dad can say. It's beautiful. Nice pork pie. That's the best pie I've had. There we go. It's official. So a mile and three quarters down the road or down the path we find ourselves in Low Mill. There's an ice cream van there. There's a national park outpost. A little hamlet. Now the whole of Farndale, remember, only has about 180 people. So uh, it really does massively increase when the summer comes and uh, there's a really big car park down there. £2.50. Toilets as well, which are really greatly appreciate it. little WI hall there I think it's basically the, the pit stop before you start heading back north So back the way we came, and uh, it got no quieter, loads of people, you can't see them here, plenty of people, you might actually see some daffodils around. It, it was a lovely dry day but uh, the, the, uh, the just off the path was quite boggy. So we think that we st first did this in 1985. Wow. That's uh, what we think we've done it, and so we've been coming doing this walk for 37 years. Not every year though. Not every year. I haven't done it for about 10 years we think. But we've been a lot more built up. We've seen extra car parks. We've got national park stations at Low Mill. We've got ice cream van at Low Mill. There's 
the pub, Feversham Arms at Church Houses, that's always been there in fairness. And what we think, we, we think it's 45 minutes end to end, so you don't really need anything. We brought our lunch today, particularly good pies, we already said. And we're about half an hour now from uh, Church Houses, we think. So what's not commonly known is the Farndale at one point was going to be flooded to make a reservoir, which I'm guessing would have been Farndale Reservoir. Thankfully, good sense prevailed. This would have been a hell of a loss. But when we first co started coming here, I believe that an awful lot of the land and the houses had been compulsory pu purchased by the water board. So they were a massive landowner in this area until they started disposing of them when they finally decided not to build a reservoir. And in surprisingly little time, we start to approach High Mill and then church houses. And uh, you can see the, the yellow carpet of daffodils there. They are wild daffodils. They are smaller than what you would buy uh, in the shops or you see in your garden. Uh, this is the a little hamlet, just uh, High Mill, just before church houses, where they have built, uh, I guess the farmers have built, something called the Daffy Cafe. And uh, it's a little cafe. It was really busy. They do take away ice creams and, and sandwiches and stuff, but it absolutely packed out. This was pretty much, it was the Saturday before Mother's Day. So as you would expect, uh, really, really busy. There it is, Daffy Cafe. Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi in Farndale, who would have thought it? And we reached the Feversham Arms. Pretty much a perfect Yorkshire pub. I don't think it's been, uh, it's, it's changed in the, like, the 30 odd years we've been going there. And Dad and I had a cheeky half after our lovely walk. Dad in the chair, as you can see. So I've got salt air blonde, just a half. It's very nice, that's creamy, very tasty. What are you drinking, Dad? Uh, John Smith's. John Smith's, never mind. <laughs> never mind, what's it like? Great. Great. <laughs> We've had a nice long walk, so it, even John Smith's will taste nice, I'm guessing. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please consider subscribing to this channel. Also, I'd be very grateful if you could like this video and hit that notification bell. If you do that, you'll continue to receive lots more rubbish just like this.